because there's a rock. Three, two, one, tack in the boat. From afar, the sport looks picturesque and calm, but on the boat, it's a whole other story. Start. For Chad, the open water feels like home. I've been sailing uh, since I was a kid. I've been racing since I was around nine, and the first time I was ever on a boat, I was around two years old. Running a boat is second nature. Know, and today, to he's navigating the Strait of Juan de Fuca on board the Jackrabbit. That is quick. We should be the fastest boat on the course today. So uh, we should finish the race first. Him and crew are preparing for a Pacific Northwest Classic. So this is a practice to get to Swiftsure. So this is something that we're just working on crew work and trying to get all those maneuvers together. Lindsay is at the top of the rig and she's working on tightening up the wind instruments and double checking everything's all where it should be at the top of the mast because it's a lot easier to fix it now than when we're sailing. <laughs> Practice is key as the 73rd Swiftsure International Yacht Race will bring some stiff competition. We've got a number of boats early, uh, more than we've had in a long time. So we're probably going to have over 200 boats. It's going to be a really exciting start. Sailors from all around the world are setting sail to compete in the longest running cross-border race on the West Coast. Everything's going to switch sides, including you. With much anticipation, I hopped on board to learn what it takes to win. And when we're sailing along, you're going to be sitting no. up here. Okay. So, and <laughs> with your shoes, as cute as they are, <laughs> if they fall off, um, we're not going back to get them. So That's fair. After a quick shoe swap, we were off to the races. Chad gave my camera guy and I the 411. Hey, on the boat, we're gonna have 10 people. And if any one person has a mistake or has an issue, it's gonna make us go slower. If everybody's firing on all cylinders, we're gonna go faster together. Our jobs, to keep an eye out for the swinging boom. Easy, right? Our first tack caught us by surprise. My camera guy almost took a spill, but we did get the hang of it. It was a bit of a ballet as the crew tried gracefully moving side to side, finessing the sails form to capture the wind. And though the boat appears to effortlessly skim across the water, it takes a tremendous amount of experience and skill. Sometimes you'll go over to like the left side or the right side of a course to try to get more wind or better favorable tides. And uh, then the wind will shut off on your side and the other people who are on the other side will get wind. It was a surreal experience having the wind at our back and the sun on our faces. <laughs> and these moments of serenity made up for those of extreme intensity. When it came time to changing a head sail, I just laid down. I didn't know what to do. What are you guys trying to do right now? It looks like half a balloon. And we use it when we sail downwind. And it's super fun because it makes it go really fast. Just like tacking only you're going downwind, the sail changes side. Up here, up here. This is uh, something that could be anybody's day, right? So, I mean, uh, we have certain conditions where the boat's faster than other boats, and other boats uh, have certain conditions where they're going to be faster than us. And many of the variables can't be controlled. Up, up. The challenging part of uh, yacht racing is the weather, making sure that you're in the right place at the right time. And often, like I say, it's a matter of luck. Uh, you can be good and you can be lucky, and it's better to be lucky than good. I considered myself lucky just for being part of the experience. I learned it wasn't about winning, it was about being adaptable and having a cohesive team. A team that anyone could be a part of. So Swisher's actually really run by volunteers, and so volunteers from all over, people who don't sail, come and actually be part of the race. You can go and say, hey, I want to race. Put your hand up and uh, somebody will pick you off of the crew bank that needs extra crew. There's always boats looking for crew in the race. And after many years on the water, Chad knows people are at the heart of the sport. Yeah, so the most rewarding part is actually getting with your crew together and actually everything working. You can actually tell when everything's working and everybody's happy, um, and that's the most rewarding part for me. If you want to catch a glimpse of this year's Swiftsure, head to the start line at Clover Point on May 28th at 9 a.m. In Cadborough Bay, I'm Lisa Bismeni for Go on Shaw TV.